Hey guys, welcome back to the campfire. I've just been informed that there's a zombie villager over here. So, first thing we're going to do is catch this, and then I'm going to tell you the plans for this video. Well, that was easy. Bop. Bop. Yeah, you're shaking now. Wait, he's Thank probably going to trans... Hey, We're going to make this dude a cleric so he can buy our rotting corpses and flesh for money so we can trade them for other goods and services 32 to 26 usually they give you like insane trades this guy has dropped his price by six rotting flesh you can give us a little bit more of a bargain on rotten flesh you know i don't know yeah. how much you need this like you sell this on the black market or something anyway goodbye until we need you in this episode, we're going to start off building a Enderman farm so we can use our teleporter freely, free of charge, and um, you're going to want to stick around for the next part of the video, till the end, because we're going to be building an amusement park where we build mini games, and rides, and have fun, and it's going to be quite epic, so you wouldn't want to miss out on that now, would you? So, unfortunately, Royal figured out about our secret place, and that secret place for the teleporters was underneath her house. So, now I want to show how we actually get in here, because this is actually really cool and I, I think it deserves to be shown. So, we have these key cards that are specifically named this, so that even if she found out um, about the thing, she wouldn't know what to name the key card to get in. And even if she saw the key card, she wouldn't be able to replicate it. So, we just throw this on the ground here, stand here, and it drops us down. Then we grab it back, close this up. Now we're free to use our teleporters, so I just hit this button. Teleport back to our base. Reset it. Teleport back to Royal's base. Once again. Reset it. Then... Then, we press this button, this launches us back up to the top. Pretty epic. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that because we're pretty proud of it. So we made some updates to our base between episodes off camera. So we have a small storage system here. And under this platform that we made, we have a sugarcane farm. And somewhere over there is a chicken farm. Yeah, right down there, the little little birds. So all the items from the mob farm, shuriken farm, chicken farm, and potentially other farms in the future. We could also fill up this whole area with farms. This could be a pretty efficient base in total, but everything goes into here. We didn't bother to sort this. This is just how it's going to be. So this is where we're going to go whenever we need like any items. This is all going to be scattered in these chests. So it's kind of disorganized, but yeah, to start off this episode, we are going to build an Enderman farm. But first, I'm going to fly through the sweet new tunnel. The turns are a little sharp, the halls are a little narrow, but we'll make do. So I'm not sure exactly what design we're going to be using, but um, yeah, this farm should supply us with enough ender pearls to use our teleporters free of charge. Um, we're probably gonna have to go down to like Y level one. Oh, looks like Space Cat already made a nice little path. So should be far away. we're gonna go down from here. This is where we're gonna be killing the Endermen. We had to go a little bit farther out because they were still spawning on the obsidian platform where you come into the end. So we had to go a little farther but down here, nothing else over there should spawn. They're gonna spawn up there, get annoyed at, an, at a bug for some reason. They're gonna go try to attack it, but to their dismay, they're gonna fall down here and be slaughtered. What a way to go. Well, it seems oh. to be working, so... Oh, they're mad at me. <laughs> so... And that means this is definitely high enough to spawn them, at least. And this should be the perfect height. 
that puts them at half a heart as soon as they get down there. So we can get that satisfying one hit KO action. Oh, watch this. Yeah. Yeah, what you gonna do about it? Look at that <laughs> what are they gonna out. do? I don't know. Well, the, the water's not gonna cover the entire thing. That's what I do. Exactly, that's the whole reason you're here. Well, Space Cat's putting the Endermite in his minecart, because Endermites can drive now. That's a uh, new thing in 1.16, I don't know if you've heard. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish up this killing area. This is definitely the wrong size. You shall be called... Uh, um... Anthony! My boy Anthony. We just finished the drop shoot for the Endermen. So now, all we have to do is build up a little spawning platform. It shouldn't have to be too big. And then, it should be fully functional. This really wasn't all that difficult to make. The farm is finally complete, and it's quite satisfying. This would be a great source of XP if we didn't already have a gold farm that gives you hundreds of levels AFK. But um, I'm not sure if we're going to put in a collection system just because it takes like two seconds for you to get an entire inventory full. So I'm not sure if that'll be necessary. But for now we're just going <laughs> to kill these. And it's fun to kill them anyway, so I won't really have a problem coming here and having you kill them each time I need pearls. We're probably just going to fill up some boxes. Before we go into the last part of our video, we notice something strange. Our beacon is gone. So we went down here to check it out. And the beacon... Oh, jeez, there's a lot of mobs. Down. Oh! Okay, that's definitely not good. Oh, I gotta... Uh... Gotta get out of here. But yeah, you can see the beacon's just gone, and it's replaced with dirt, and so is many of the gold blocks, which is really strange. I mean, it appears that creepers don't blow up that many blocks, so I don't think it's just a coincidence. So someone must have stolen the beacon, and we gotta find out who that is. So after some investigation, we have a pretty good idea of who it was. So before, we only had one block going down. Because we broke two blocks going down here, but then we pillared up one. So there's only a, a one block wide hole going down. So, if it would have been Royal, she would have been able to just fly straight down with her elytra and just glide. So, that leads only two suspects. Meggie and Dracon. Now, we know for a fact it can't be Meggie because... First of all, she never plays, and second of all, she doesn't even have a pickaxe that would be able to mine the gold blocks. So, that leads us to believe that Dracon has done something. I don't see any beacon beams around his base, which is interesting. He didn't take all the gold blocks, so it's kind of weird. I'm not sure what use he would have for it. But I'm going to keep looking around and if I find it, I'll tell you guys. Check this out. We just found this zombie down here. Wearing full iron armor with an iron sword and a shield. This can't be a coincidence. You know what this means, Space Cat, right? No. It means Dracon must have died down here. We can only confirm this if we kill this and he drops all the stuff. Yep. We have our answer here. Now... <laughs> the real question. Did he lose our beacon? So this zombie has a diamond shovel too, which only backs up our case. Okay, so we got Dracon in a call right now, and we're about to get some information out of him. So we already established that he broke the beacon. Now here's the big question. Do you have the beacon, or did you lose it? I lost it, but it's more it was destroyed. That's all we needed to hear. You got it. <laughs> you know what that means, right? No. We're gonna make you 
fight the wither yourself. You're, we're gonna make you get it back. And there's <laughs> nothing you can do. So, we're having Dracon fight the wither now for us. I'm in spectator mode right now, so we can get a good view on this. Oh no, he's gonna lose to a zombie first. Don't spam click. <laughs> don't, don't spam click, you have to... You have to... You know, do whatever you want. One, two, three. If he wins, we're giving him a stack of diamonds. So, uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Don't run in now. <laughs> Space Cat's gonna intervene if it gets messy. <laughs> this is going well. You're doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> he did like two damage. <laughs> Look how much damage that's doing. Are you gonna die? Yeah, I don't have a, a chest play on, but probably. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. I'll be okay. With it. <laughs> it's just sitting there watching you. I'm lagging. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, it blew up all of your stuff. <laughs> That's not good. Um, I'm gonna run in and finish it off, cause like, you know, you can't really blame me. This is embarrassing. I can literally just tank it. There we go. It's done. Oh, uh, that was awful. I feel bad for anyone who's watching this video right now. Bra moment. So we found the area that we are going to be making our theme park in. And this is also the area where we started our very first Minecraft episode. And the very first video on this channel. So, we went through all of our past messages and all of our group chats and stuff. And we managed to pinpoint the exact date that we recorded this. So, in our theme park, we're probably just gonna like have a glass bubble surrounding this, like preserving it in time almost. So, I'm just gonna put a sign here now that says the exact date on which we recorded this, which is Saturday, August 22nd, 2020, at exactly 6 04 p.m. So, with that, this is the start of our amusement park. So over here is where our theme park is going to be, as we just showed. Um, we kind of mapped out a little bit. This is where the entrance is going to be. We're going to have towers and like an archway. And as soon as you come in, there's going to be a carousel here. That's pretty much just going to be decorative. But this is where our uh, first game is going to be. It's going to be an underwater themed shooter game where you ride a minecart along the past like you might have seen in other theme parks um, and you just throw a trident at all the buttons and try to get the most points so we brought the beacon over here to clear out this whole area because this is all going to be underground but we're just making the entrance up here we're probably not going to finish any like the decorative stuff we're going to try to make a functional today so we dug out a little bit of this it's definitely far from done, but you can see what we have so far. So, when we press this button, we'll go... That's just a temporary starting thing. Um, we go here, go up, he goes up there, I go down here, and maybe... Yeah, it seems like we're about the same speed, so that's good. We want to be the same speed, even though he's a little bit ahead, it'll eventually even out, so we get back at the same time. So it's coming out pretty well so far, we just need to loop this all the way around. And then we have to do all the wiring and stuff, which is going to be kind of difficult. We'll get there. So we added a few more things and put in a couple targets. So we're going to use triads for this later, but I'm just going to use a bow for this demonstration. And this, the momentum just makes this like extremely hard. Like I can't, there we go, I got one, got another one. See, they just go all over the place. 
And it stops here for now, but... Yeah, this is really hard. Okay, here's one more progress update on this. All the progress updates are just gonna be us riding it, I guess. This time we're not gonna shoot it, so we can just look around at the track. We got the gorge here. He goes on that. I go on this. It looks like you're about to hit the end, but check that out. Pretty epic, huh? And we both emerge. Did you just get hurt? Huh? Did you get hurt at all? Maybe. No pain, no gain. So we finished what we're working on this episode. We made the rails connect there, and we kind of finished the whole thing. We still didn't put in all the targets and all like the decorations and stuff, so it's still kind of just a skeleton. But we're gonna go through it now, just so you can kind of see what it's like. There's a few targets on this part of it, but after this, there's none. So go through here. He goes through that tunnel, and I go underneath, back up, and yeah, this is going to eventually be a full wall, but then we'll get here, this is where it's going to show our scores, and we stop. Nice. So that's it for this episode, guys. This was a pretty productive one. We made an enderman farm we made a pretty cool game but we didn't finish that quite yet and we used slave labor to get our beacon back so if you like this kind of content or just like me a little bit go ahead and subscribe and like the video but without further ado guys goodbye <laughs>